Welcome to the global defense battle. The Astra Mk2 and the PL-15 are advanced air-to-air -air missiles developed by India and China, respectively. The Astra Mk2 is designed to engage enemy aircraft at beyond visual range, providing the Indian Air Force with a long-range strike capability. It was developed as an upgrade to the Astra Mky, improving range and accuracy. The missile's development was initiated to counter threats from modern fighter jets in the region, with induction expected in the near future after ongoing trials. On the other hand, China's PL-15 is also a BVR air-to-air -air missile, designed to give the People's Liberation Army Air Force a technological edge in aerial combat. It entered service around 2016 and was created to enhance China's air dominance, particularly against modern threats from rival nations. And today we will compare both of these missiles. This comparison helps highlight the technological capabilities of both nations and how they aim to secure their airspace. So let's start. Both the missiles feature advanced design elements that enhance their aerodynamic performance and maneuverability. The Astra Mk2 comes with a sleek airframe and uses four tail fins for improved stability and control during flight. These fins allow the missile to change its trajectory quickly while pursuing fast-moving enemy aircraft. The missile is designed to be lightweight, weighing around 160 kilograms, with a length of about 3.8 meters and a diameter of around 178 millimeters. Its compact design makes it suitable for integration with various fighter jets in the Indian Air Force. In comparison, China's PL-15 also features a streamlined body with small, adjustable tail fins that assist in high-speed maneuvers during engagement. This missile is slightly heavier, with an estimated weight of around 200 kilograms, and has a longer body, measuring about 4 meters in length. Its diameter is slightly larger as well, at approximately 203 millimeters, which helps it accommodate advanced guidance and propulsion systems. The overall design of both missiles is focused on maximizing speed, range, and agility, allowing them to effectively target and destroy enemy aircraft at long distances. The propulsion systems of both the missiles are key to their performance, enabling them to travel at high speeds and engage targets at long ranges. The Astra Mk2 uses a solid-fuel dual-pulse rocket motor. This advanced propulsion system provides the missile with a high initial boost and then sustains its speed during the terminal phase of flight, making it highly effective in pursuing distant or fast-moving targets. The missile can travel at speeds up to Mach 4.5, which is more than four times the speed of sound. The maximum range of the Astra Mk2 is estimated to be around 160 kilometers, giving it the ability to engage targets well beyond visual range. It can operate at altitudes as high as 20 kilometers, allowing it to hit targets at various heights. The missile has a single-stage propulsion configuration, meaning it uses a single motor throughout its flight. The PL-15, on the other hand, uses a more advanced propulsion system, believed to be a solid-fuel ramjet engine or dual-pulse rocket motor. This allows the PL-15 to achieve greater speeds and extended range. The missile can fly at speeds of up to Mach 4 slightly slower than the Astra Mk2, but still incredibly fast. Its range is significantly longer, reaching up to 200 to 300 kilometers, depending on flight conditions and target type. The PL-15 is designed to engage targets at all altitudes, but it excels in medium to high altitude engagements. Like the Astra Mk2, the PL-15 also features a single-stage propulsion system, but its sophisticated motor design contributes to its extended range. In summary, both missiles are designed for high-speed, long-range engagements, and both rely on solid-fuel rocket motors, though the PL-15's advanced system allows for superior range. Both missiles' payload capacities and warhead types are focused on precision strikes to destroy enemy aircraft in the sky. The Astra Mk2 carries a high-explosive fragmentation warhead. The warhead weighs around 15 to 20 kilograms and is designed to create a large blast radius filled with fragments upon detonation ensuring that even if the missile does not make direct contact, it can still disable or destroy the target. The destruction radius of the Astra Mk2 is estimated to be around 5 to 10 meters, depending on the target's size and distance from the explosion. This type of warhead is highly effective against fast-moving aircraft because the explosion sends out sharp fragments that can damage critical systems of the enemy aircraft. Similarly, the PL-15 also carries a high-explosive fragmentation warhead, but it is slightly larger in terms of payload. The warhead weight is approximately 20 to 30 kilograms. Like the Astra Mk2, the PL-15's warhead is designed to detonate near the target and disperse fragments to maximize damage. The destruction radius of the PL-15 is slightly larger, around 10 to 15 meters, 
giving it a higher chance of successfully disabling its target even with a near miss. Neither missile is designed to carry nuclear warheads, as their role is strictly focused on air-to-air -air combat. They also do not carry multiple warheads, as they are designed for precision, single-target engagement. The key goal is to strike with accuracy, using fragmentation to ensure a successful hit. Both the Astra MK2 and PL-15 are equipped with advanced guidance systems that enhance their accuracy and enable them to engage targets with high precision, even at long ranges. The Astra MK2 uses a combination of inertial navigation and active radar homing for its guidance. Initially, the missile is guided by an inertial navigation system, which helps it maintain its trajectory in the early stages of flight. As it approaches the target, the missile switches to active radar homing, where it uses an onboard radar seeker to lock onto the target and guide itself in the terminal phase. This combination ensures a high level of accuracy, with a circular error probable of around 5 to 10 meters, meaning the missile is likely to strike within this distance from the target. The PL-15, on the other hand, is also equipped with an inertial navigation system, but incorporates an active electronically scanned array radar for terminal guidance. The AESA radar provides enhanced tracking and targeting capabilities, allowing the missile to adjust its path as it closes in on the target. The PL-15 is known for its high accuracy, with a CEP also estimated to be around 5 to 10 meters. This precision makes it highly effective against moving targets like fighter jets. Both missiles are maneuverable during flight, allowing them to track fast-moving or evasive targets. The Astra MK2 is capable of mid-course corrections via data link from the launching aircraft, which updates the missile's path as the target moves. Once the missile's active radar kicks in, it further refines its trajectory to ensure a hit. Similarly, the PL-15 can be maneuvered through its onboard guidance systems, and its AESA radar provides real-time tracking and adjustments. Talking about the launching platform, both the missiles are air-to-air -air missiles, meaning they are launched from fighter jets rather than ground-based or fixed platforms. The launch vehicles for each missile are the advanced fighter jets used by their respective air forces. The Astra Mk2 is integrated with several aircraft in the Indian Air Force, including the Sukhoi Su-30 Mky, Mirage 2000, and Tejas fighter jets. These jets act as the launch vehicles for the missile, which can be fired at enemy aircraft during combat missions. The missile can be made ready for launch quickly once it is armed on the aircraft, with a response time of just a few seconds. The missile is carried in a mobile manner since the fighter jets themselves are mobile platforms capable of rapid deployment in various combat zones. The PL-15 is launched from modern Chinese fighter jets such as the J-20, J-16, and J-10C. Like the Astra Mk2, the PL-15 is quickly armed and launched during air combat missions. These fighter jets are equipped to deploy the missile within seconds, making it highly responsive to threats in the sky. Both missiles are deployed via mobile platforms and have quick response times, allowing for fast engagement of enemy targets during aerial combat. Let's talk about the cost. Starting with the Astra Mk2, the overall development cost of the Astra program, including both the MKY and MK2 variants, is estimated to be around 150 million. This includes research, testing, and production trials over several years. The estimated production cost per Astra MK2 missile is around $850,000 to $1.2 million, making it more affordable compared to imported missiles. On the other hand, the PL-15, being a more advanced missile, is likely to have higher costs associated with its development and production. While China has not publicly disclosed the exact figures, the overall development cost is likely in the range of several hundred million dollars. The production cost per missile is estimated to be around $1 to $1.5 million, making it more expensive than the Astra Mk2. As of now, the operational status of both the Astra Mk2 and the PL-15 reflects their roles in their respective air forces, with varying numbers in active service, production, and export status. The Astra Mk2 is still in its final stages of testing and has not yet been officially inducted into the Indian Air Force for large-scale deployment. However, once the trials are successfully completed, the IAF is expected to induct a significant number of Astra Mk2 missiles. The IAF has already inducted the Astra Mki variant, and it is likely that a similar or greater number of Astra Mk2 missiles will be produced to meet the needs of the force. In contrast, the PL-15 is already in active service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force. The exact number of PL-15 missiles in active service is not publicly available, but estimates suggest that China has produced hundreds of these missiles to equip its growing fleet of modern fighters. As for exports, 
China has not officially confirmed any foreign sales of the PL-15, though it may be offered to select international partners in the future, potentially countries that operate Chinese-made fighter jets. In summary, both the Astra Mk-2 and PL-15 are powerful air-to-air -air missiles that reflect the growing capabilities of India and China in modern aerial warfare. While the Astra Mk-2 is still in testing, its future looks promising, and both missiles demonstrate the ongoing competition between these two countries in air dominance. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.